both of us, ADD and uh, Nepal government, to look at where we can improve upon, uh, where there is a problem that we need to focus to resolve and come up with a better performance. I think this review meeting will be very helpful, helpful in the future to make sure that uh, the disbursement rate is increased, our implementation performance is better, and if we can also, I think you maybe all, you already may have identified where problem lies. One of the problem that we are facing is site clearance. <clears throat> we award contract before site clearance that has led to time overrun and cost overrun. That is well known. I think Nepal has to improve upon it, we have to improve upon it. We are discussing about it. Unless we have ready for contracts so that contractors don't get excuses for, you know, uh, not able to, you know, continue with the project in time. So that is a must because they are always looking for, you know, the clauses they wanted to evoke so that they can get benefit out of it, they can claim. So we have to be very careful about it. In future, I think we want to follow strictly. Unless we have the site clearance, we will not award contract. So whatever in the pipeline, whether it's an ADB funded project or any donor funded project or locally funded project, we need to make sure that poles are clear, forest, you know, clearance is, uh, you know, uh, approved, and uh, whatever, you know, settlement that uh, we have to make to those people uh, where we need to. Uh, make uh, those sites clear, they are paid in time, and then we should move this project ahead. So I think regarding uh, this uh, issue of readiness, site readiness, uh, we need to work, we need to do our homework, but those projects which are already you know, in the implementation phase. We have to make sure that wherever there is a problem, uh, we should give priority to, you know, uh, whether it is compensation or other kind of clearance, we have to do that. So that should be our priority. Government will give priority to this. And in the future, we we'll make sure that uh, we don't go ahead with the project unless site is clear. Uh, this is one thing. Uh, of course, we have a problem associated with contract management, our capacity, and of course, I, uh, I should confess that uh, because of the frequent changes in government and uh, even at the bureaucracy level, that is also not healthy. So we need to improve upon that. At least this government committed that we feel that this will, uh, this will, this government will go full term at the political level, at the bureaucratic level. We will not, we will look at their performance, not at their background or whatever, you know, uh, you know, background they come from. So performance will be the major, you know, uh, realistic for, uh, you know, going 
follower, so we will follow that strictly. Uh, as far as this uh, counter, uh, uh, counterpart budget is concerned, even though our uh, secretary shared that uh, counterpart uh, fund is a problem, as I think ATB representatives, leaders here already said that they will look into the, this ratio. They are ready to do that is a welcome thing. Uh, at the same time, whatever way possible, we know our revenue condition is not that good. Despite that, counter will make sure that even by internal borrowing, we'll make sure that this counter part fund is met. We'll do that. So, but I think I will urge all those people who are responsible for different departments, different, different ministries, I urge you also to make sure that you are, you will start early. Preparation is a must. So we should not wait until the last minute. And then if you bring that issue, uh, issue to finance ministry in time, this is our timeline. This is what our, you know, donors are saying, ADB in this case is saying. So tell us, you know, timeline and uh, uh, requirement of the fund for that purpose and timeline for that also. So that uh, uh, we will make sure whatever way possible to match uh, our, you know, part of the commitment. Uh, of course, this is also related to timely decision. And one of the issues is we don't make decision in time. We wait until last minute. Even we used to say that this is the Nepali way until, you know, we have pressure of time. So time is, uh, you know, almost over. So we work overnight and we produce result also. But I think we need to change this. I'm talking this issue very frankly uh, because uh, just by hiding our weaknesses we are not going to uh, produce results. So we need to improve upon this disbursement, implementation and cost. Cost overrun is a real problem. So that will cost us even though they may give us in the, this uh, support a very concessionary interest rate. But because of the time overrun and then the exchange rate varies and always, uh, you know, upwards. So uh, ultimately the project becomes very costly. So we need to look into this issue very carefully. Actually, I'm saying to us, our people, to improve upon that. To the ADB, what I will say is, uh, you are generous support, supporter to Nepal's development endeavor. Even though slowly you are, uh, you know, all multilateral donors, bilateral, everybody reducing their grand part. Even the TA part also, people used to give this techni technical grant, but now we are withdrawing from it. I ask you to review that, at least you know that your grand portion, whether we may be graduating or this or that, this or that, we are still facing a real crunch of resources. That is a fact. We have a lot of commitment to commitments uh, because we have a lot of necessities to bring our people so, uh, you know, livelihood, their education, their health, and overall well-being. So, 
You can't say that, okay, we'll only focus on this and we'll wait. You should wait for other things for next time. We can't do that. So we have to make a very delicate balance. Therefore, I think uh, we still need, we like to see it happen that we don't need any support. So we can do ourselves. But this is reality for some time to come. We have to rely on external friends, partners for our development and to achieve our developmental goals. So I will ask uh, uh, our friends to consider uh, the genuine region. Uh, I will not say that you overlook everything and do whatever we wanted to do without fulfilling, fulfilling our, you know, uh, you know, duty. But uh, I will ask uh, high-level representatives here from ADB headquarters uh, to look out, look at our, uh, you know, real problems seriously and come up with a generous package. Uh, whatever project is already ongoing, the core uh, record, let us also make sure that jointly this contractor sometimes has a, uh, they feel that they can do anything in Nepal. You know? So that is the kind of attitude, this international contractors, they have such attitude. We need to uh, make sure that they cannot get away with smaller excuses and, you know, just uh, trying to, you know, increase their list of claims. So that also need to be, uh, need to look into it. Uh, so, uh, I think I more or less cover what uh, I, I need to, I need to cover. The social uh, safeguards, environmental safeguards. Uh, we are trying our best, and uh, we are very much in terms of our this green coverage. We are the best in all of South Asia. But uh, when it comes to developmental things, when you know small things comes related to environment to that site, that becomes big. I also ask ADP to consider overall uh, this uh, uh, progress we are ma making in terms of, you know, green. We already have almost 44% of our land under green cover. So this community-led, community-based forestry system has worked you know, that that was, that is kind of model for others also to emulate. So I think we are doing that. Uh, so you need to look this at the macro level, not just the micro level. Maybe we need to, uh, you know, even at the micro level, we are trying our best to make compensate whatever, you know, environmental, uh, you know, compromise we have to make. We have plan or, you know, things that we are going to compensate to make sure that overall we have this environmental thing is addressed. Mm -hmm. Similarly, other social safeguard probably we may not be able to meet with, uh, you know, advanced country level because it is related to resources. When you have limited resources, you have to live with that. You can't compare that with uh, some advanced country where they have plenty of resources to back that commitment. So we need, we need to look into our overall situation. Uh, so I think with uh, this uh, uh, this conflict period is over with new constitution and uh, 
two elections already under new constitution, I think we will do better. We are confident and whatever weaknesses that we have in our system, we are ready to address that. We are committed. I am committed in coming budget to reduce our people are talking about wasteful expenditures. I will not say all the expenditures are wasteful. Of course, there are some expenditures which we can avoid. So we are ready to do that and I am committed to do that. And we want to increase the performance of our capital uh, expenditure and slowly increase our capital uh, 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 expenditure. And we want to, uh, the, the, the kind of situation we have seen in the past, increasing rate of general expenditure and declining rate of capital uh, expenditure. Uh, we'll improve upon that. Uh, at least our revenue should cover or even you know, exceed our general expenditure that we are committed to. And when we are talking about, somebody mentioned about this, uh, some obligation under this general expenditure, we have a lot of, uh, sometimes this general expenditure is misunderstood. There is, you know, social uh, education, investment in education, <coughs> health, is put under general expenditure. There are some other capital expenditure also under general expenditure. So that means our revenue is also funding that, where this donor fund will not come. So I think uh, uh, I will assure ADB uh, that uh, we will improve upon uh, the present performance, uh, this uh, two election, this and that. Uh, even though they, they, that should be, not be the excuse. So we will improve upon our uh, future, uh, you know, uh, this performance in terms of disbursement, in terms of implementation, and in terms of result. And I will urge all of you, uh, you are the one who will make the change. Uh, without your support, uh, political leadership alone cannot do it. So I urge you to start working wherever there is a problem from the day one. Thank you very much.